Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about NFTs because they are becoming bigger and bigger and the hype is just going up. Stay with me. So what are NFTs? NFTs are non-fungible tokens. They are digital, okay? You can't hold them in your hand. But that doesn't mean that they are worthless. So in order to uh, explain it to you, let's start with something traditional. If I ask and you lend me one of these, it's okay if I give you back this one, right? Because they are the same. They hold the same value. But what if you lend me this and I give you back this? This is from Monopoly, if somebody doesn't know. It has, uh, it has some value, but only when you play the game. So you wouldn't like that, do you? Because this one, having the value of 20 pounds or any other currency you like, and this one, well, when you don't play the game, it's just a piece of paper and uh, you can't really buy anything. This is the same when we are talking about paintings, a car, a phone, anything. Anything which has, for example, a brand, anything which has a value physically or psychologically. So what NFTs are? NFTs are the same thing but digitally, with a twist. Because you see, if you have something digitally, if you have something on your computer, you can just copy paste it, right? Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And you can just multiply it, therefore it will not hold any value because you can multiply it as much as you need. But NFT, <coughs> with the blockchain uh, technology, made it limited. Artists now, when they create an NFT, they can make it in limited number. And when you buy one, your name and the date will be coded into the blockchain, will be put on the NFT. Therefore, only one, only that one exists or from one type, maybe only 10 exists. And you cannot copy it, you cannot multiply it, you can only sell it or buy it. Even when you think that, why would I need a video in an NFT? Why would I buy it? Because I can just watch it every time. Yes, you can watch it, but it's not really yours, okay? And, and value is something which is wanted by people, and can be owned by people and, it's, it, and it cannot be multiplied to the infinite or multiplied it at all. For that, let me show you something. Right now, we are watching the NBA Top Shots. These are interesting and uh, maybe legendary or historical moments in the NBA which were transformed into an NFT and can be bought. And as you can see, you can buy one from as low as $145 or for $40,000 and for $6,000, so on, so on. These are for the fans, okay? For example, other NFT, uh, which uh, made very, very big news, is the defeated Donald Trump. This one. This defeated Donald Trump. And just to show you how much it increased in value, in October, this was bought for $60,000, 66 actually. And now in March, 3rd of March actually, it was uh, sold for $6.6 .6 million. $6.6 .6 million for this NFT, for this digital token, for this digital art, okay? And this is where value comes in. Anything can have value if there is a demand for it, if there is somebody who is willing to pay for it. This is the recipe. You need limited numbers, so it cannot be multiplied by anybody or copied by anybody. And you need a demand or you need a bit of exclusivity, okay? You, people need to feel that if they own something like this, they are exclusive, right? It's the same as having a Lamborghini you are part of an exclusive club. This is the same thing as you would buy Mona Lisa. It's just you cannot hold it in your hands, you hold it on your computer, or you hold it in, in, in a vault. As long as somebody is willing to pay for it, or somebody keeps value in it, money in it, then it can be as expensive 
as it gets. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this uh, small inform informational video. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content and press the like button. See you in my next video. Bye.